Well, howdy folks, Hell Crex here. Just doing a little bit of video talking about Battletech and starting off with campaigns as a novice. Uh, I've been getting questions and stuff over time about individuals, how to start a campaign, where to look for information. And it's pretty much a, you can start as easy as you want or elaborate as you want, depending on your experience in the game. Now, if you're, let's say, two individuals, three individuals, four individuals, and you buy the initial box set, which is kind of cool that they have a new ones coming out. They got a starter and a, and a kind of a more uh, elaborate one where they got a little bit more uh, mechs with it. But let's say you all go out and buy a box or two, and you kind of split the mechs up, and you, you've been playing for a while, and you're like, well, maybe we want to uh, play a game or play as a mercenary or do some campaigns it's like if you've been watching some of the thought mercenary thoughts from the inner sphere and you're just looking at okay uh, you want to make the next step uh, the easiest thing is is that like say you want to first thing you want to do is all right uh, everybody in the group let's say there's three of you or four of you y'all pick one one mech that say a medium mech or a light mech and that is your how the mech that you get from either inherited you got it as salvage from place uh, a reward or you or a uh, jock at let's say Solaris gaming world etc there's many different ways how you got it but the thing is you're just gonna say all right I'm gonna have a media mech and that's my starting mech and a couple of the guys might say I want to be a more of a recon type of guy so Say he picks a Jenner, another one picks a, a Hunchback, another one's a uh, like a Phoenix Hawk or a Vindicator, whatever their favorite mech is that they want to start the game out with. So they just pick one of those and go with it. All right. So as a initial uh, Merc uh, company, or you're just gonna be a Lance of a bunch of individuals glomming together to do things, your reputation is gonna suck. So you're not going to really get these really good contracts, and you're not like the Wolf Dragoons or uh, or any of those groups. So you most likely will have a video or a contract where say, all right, we're going to have you do run this convoy. This convoy goes back and forth from this factory to the the depot where they release it in the city. So we're going to have you for next six months. You're going to be running. Uh, convoy duty you're protecting the goods of from let's say there's a lot of hit stories of industrial sabotage where other corporations from a different uh, let's say the compelling or the uh, free world's league is going after and hitting let's say the Lyrian Commonwealth where they have some type of factory and they don't want their competitor getting an advantage so they hire a uh, through the, the uh, let's say they put a contract out on this other company so it's your job to protect them so you're just going to be with your four mechs running convoy duty back and forth you may go a month or two without anything but you're getting say paid 250 thousand uh, C bills a month or something like that to do it so you can make it really simple like that now there's other things you could advance as you go along and you may end up facing other uh the let's say they send in some oh scorpion light tanks or something like that or some hovercraft that come in and start hitting the convoy and you have to get in between them so that's kind of like how you can run that and how you usually i like to say is if you have three people in your group one person could be the op for one guy could be the run the company another one runs as the uh, game master kind of helping out uh, make sure everybody gets the rules down right or uh, sets the trigger points and stuff so they kind of overwatch things now if you got four people so you could have uh, two people playing the mercs and another one could be playing the op four type of thing and then every month or every time you play you rotate so not everybody's got the same role so you kind of uh, 
you know, you can just kind of break up the monotony because you don't want to be the guy that always has to run the game. You'd like to throw the dice too and uh, blow stuff up back and forth. And in the beginning, you're going to get it, these really easy contracts that, you know, they're not going to be something that you're going to be uh, ran over top of and then have your newly minted forces uh, ripped to pieces. So now after you do that for a little bit, you might uh, sit there and go, well, we want to advance it a little bit and uh, bring it up to something a little more elaborate. So here we got the, the next book that you might want to think about picking up. This is a campaign operation. So if you want to do a mercenary campaign as a company, it's like this book's going to help you out. It's like if you look at, let's say, what is it, page uh, 10, 11. And it gives you a force creation error table. So you just kind of look at what error you want to play in. Uh, my advice is run from about 2800 to 3050. Uh, when you get into 3050, that's when the clans show up. And then, uh, put it bluntly, one clan mech has the firepower usually about 1.25, 1.5, depending on the size of the, the clan mech. And... Uh, there's been games where we've had early tech games against clans and the clans just ripped to pieces but there's nothing left even like one say a mad cat or something like that or like call it timber whatever it is however long you've been playing the game is can rip apart an entire light medium lance all by itself so that's something to look at so here i'll just give you an ex example uh basic budget table you roll 3d6 and then when you roll it and it gives you how many uh, millions it's like if you roll uh, a three you get 10 million C bills so that's enough to outfit a your basic uh, lance uh, pretty much and if you look at uh, as you go through and there's modifiers and say faction budgets and it tells you right here it's like if you want to build a light mech and instead of just picking your mechs you can buy what you want it's like three million c bills will buy you a um light mech six million would buy you a medium nine mil would buy you a heavy and 12 mil would buy you an assault mech so you could by rolling pretty decently i'd like to, to say uh keep the uh the numbers down you might just say I'm gonna roll 2d6 and the best you could get is 120 million C bills now if you do that that would be something where you could end up with a large group and somebody's outside and so you would basically it'd be one of those itty beer moments so you put out there buy your mechs up to a lance usually if you have enough money consider it's like all right one heavy mech a bunch some mediums and a light so you have a, a lance that's made up of the three i wouldn't buy an assault to begin with uh another thing to look at is buying a security force uh you're you want to probably a couple squads of infantry with you because if you have set up in a base you want uh base security where you man the 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 gates have like watchtowers you know typical lrm uh lrm uh launchers ppc launch uh guns turrets stuff like that where you could and if you look at some of the books where is it at is uh kind of gives you the idea is it's like if you look at the tech manual here that's kind of tells you how to build their max and it gives you this in this book it tells you a lot of what the, the weapon systems are and how much they're going to cost so you could build yourself a defensive perimeter also to go with it so if you drop down let's say with your drop ship or you get paid uh the employer says i will pay for your transportation 
and they get you where they need to go you set up your little base depending on how big you your unit is it could be a 10-man squad of, that's on a rotation just to provide some basic security for everybody that's something you need to think about and as you go along they may you may buy a couple uh, vehicles to go with it so let's say you got a couple scorpion tanks and maybe a hover craft or, or two like a pegasus or a maxim that you bought that was for the infantry that they can go on board to say a, basically a pegasus will hold 10 guys and if you have a maxim you could put a 10 man squad or 12 man squad 15 man squad of uh, infantry in it along with some equipment that they can just roll up unload start creating uh, base security that type of thing so that's something you need to think about also is you know doing that kind of stuff and then as you go along uh, this book here will tell you about you know how what you kind of setting up all the costs of doing the operations and like I said you get everything that goes with it the uh, another thing if you don't have that which is kind of cool is that depending on what area you want to go through they have these source books too which are your like your first succession war second succession war third succession war those books there have uh, basically operations so if you want to play a certain area it's like ah, we're gonna play the starting with the second succession war and we can put all kinds of uh, battles where they they tell you about battles and where they're happening uh, who's going against what and if you want to be a mercenary you could be hired on to do operations and stuff like that so that's kind of the cool stuff that you could do so that's kind of the sky's the limit these guys at catalyst have done all kinds of homework to do these kind of things and you know if you ever get to a convention where catalyst is like gen con or origins they put on some really good uh, scenarios which are kind of like based on the same thing then obviously if you're playing before the 3050 era you want you know your basic uh, tech technical readout uh, your technical readout will have you know ba I've been going through all of them the technical readout and telling you kind of a battle value versus not close I'm not telling you the exact battle value but uh, kind of what the vehicles are and how to use them so if you're kind of new to the game I pretty much covered every mech there's a handful left that I still got to cover yet and most of those are the Star League ones which I'm going through right now to cover so that's a little bit of everything there and then you have this book here tactical operations is once again it's getting you into equipment and how to use it uh, so you got an introduction basic equipment for different battle types scenarios and all that fun stuff so there's all kinds of things you can do with this game so that hopefully that is giving you a little quick idea about what to grab so if you do have the initial box set that just came out you're going to get a rule book with it but if you don't have the rule book pick up the rule book they got a new one that just came out it has a new cover on it it's basically this one right here but with some addendums to it that's fixed up some of the stuff that some of the errors in it and it's like i have this one and my son has one and his version has i think this was like 1.1 he has a, new, a newer newer one it's like the one of the last ones that had come out so it doesn't his is more up to date then you got strategic operations so if you really start getting into big stuff then you can start breaking out all the, the these other books uh, we are planning uh, right now just on the phone uh, not long ago with uh, my brother and we're planning on doing a planetary invasion game we're talking divisional level 
pointing out an entire division worth of combined arms like from House Davian, uh, Federated Sons, so regimental combat teams, all that kind of stuff. So we're right down to what the battle values are. And we're going to be playing uh, like once a week, uh, probably every couple weeks, do a, a battle and just continually grind things down. So uh, you do all the operations and stuff that you would find and then you'd throw in hiring and mercenaries or uh, however you want to set the game up. Fighting alongside either the Capellans or the uh, House Davian type of thing. So it's part of the Succession War. Third, was it Fourth Succession War? So yeah, that's what we're uh, thinking about ourselves. So it, it's it's small. You you could be playing at a small RPG style, or you have just a lance, or you could be playing at the same level as a massive. Uh, planetary invasion so sky's the limit guys so if that's what you want to do you know break out the stuff and start playing and uh, if you got any questions or anything hopefully I answered a few of them and uh, look back in the archives I've had other uh, videos that kind of talk about certain stuff but uh, like and subscribe and we'll talk with you later I'll correct out